Namaste. Let us see why more and more children are using glasses nowadays. You look at a group of children, you see an alarmingly high number of children using glasses, which used to be not the case before. What could be the reasons? Well, one reason could be because of the genetic patterns. However, a big reason could be because of the environmental and lifestyle changes you see nowadays. You compare the lifestyle of a child now and the child of a previous generation. When we were children, we were more physical. We used to always live outdoors, play outdoors. Our parents had to pull us in. Present day children, they are less physical, more mental, always indoors. Maybe living in tall, high-rise buildings, but small rooms. At any point of time, they need to look at 10 or 20 feet maximum. Family members are available at 15 to 20 feet maybe. Television is at 10 feet. Their books are at one foot and their gadgets are at half a foot. They are many times lying down, reading in dim light. Hardly any exposure to outdoor activities, less of vitamin D, less of sunlight. Today's child has the world at its fingertips, on its palm. Everything revolves within a short distance. Be it on books or on gadgets, all activities are happening at near viewing distances. Somehow this is influencing the visual system which is adapting alarmingly rapidly to the near vision requirements. The dimensions and the muzzle activity is changing in such that the eye needs to look at only near distances. In, t- uh, in other words, eye is getting into a short sight or myopia mode. So what can we do about this? Get the children into good habits, more of outdoor activities, they allow them to play outside make friends, physical games, physical activities. That also gets them a uh, chance to get exposed to sunlight and get vitamin D. If you are in an apartment, can't go outside, high story building, all the more the better it is. Ask them to climb upstairs, cut down indoor activities as much as possible. If it's not possible to avoid altogether, reduce the gadget time and teach them to take breaks. If it's on books, every one hour, let them take a break for 5 minutes or if they are on gadgets, they need to take breaks every 15 minutes for 3 to 5 minutes. If they can't get out of their rooms, they could look out of the window or close their eyes. That also gives them a break. Another thing to take note is the direction of illumination, light on the study material. Light has to be coming from the front, falling on the study material without causing a shadow. White light is better. Maybe a tube light, a simple tube light will do and sufficient amount of light so that the child doesn't have to squint the eyes to look at the study material. Position when sitting for studying should be vertical upright. No lying down, no lying down on the bed and reading. Now we have a new challenge. Because of the pandemic, lockdown, there are no physical schools. Schools are on online. What do we do? Go back to basics. Have your classes online but use bigger gadgets. Maybe connect internet onto the television screen or on a laptop or a desktop. Avoid small smartphones and take breaks. Maybe after every period of 30 minutes or 40 minutes, take break for 2 minutes, close your eyes or look out of the window. Because of the excessive usage of gadgets for school purpose nowadays, try to avoid usage of the gadgets after school hours for other purposes. So, giving the break to the eyes will break the myopia cycle.